Welcome back to Low Tech Linux. This is going to be a real short video to show you that you can manipulate font lettering in Inkscape for your Ink Stitch project. I'm just going to do a real quick Low Tech Linux and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Bring it down a little, zoom in, do the prerequisite requirements for lettering go to fill and stroke click this little make holes when you break apart go to path object to path and then extensions fill tools break apart we should have a working piece just that quick. Troubleshoot, troubleshoot objects. All shapes are valid, outstanding. So what I'm talking about, I'm gonna zoom in on this L. I'm gonna push the control button and click it. That will give me just the L instead of the whole word. I'm going to expand that a little bit, grab this tool, grab a few of these at once and Drag long. Go back to this one. I'm going to push that control again to get just the O. Let's bring that in. Control again. Click. I have to turn off snapping. See, if I don't push the control, I get all of them. So control. It's acting like snap still working. Okay, and let's manipulate this one down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, something like that. And then I'm going to zoom way in here. Let's move that up. And I'm actually going to take this one and round it. And do something like that. That one, I want to bring it down right there. Now, what you can also do, I'm going to push that and then control. No, I'm going to shift click that one. Now I've got that one and that one. I'm going to put a node in between those two. So just like that. And unselect the others. Grab that one. Let's push that out there. Let's push that down there. Now it looks like a hockey stick. That's cool. All right. There you go. And you can grab all these. Run it back up. Grab that one. Give it a little push up. Yeah. That's what I'm after. So it's real easy to manipulate. Just all of them. Let's do the same thing with that T. Move that over. Zoom in. To... I'm going to grab a few of these. I'm going to run this out. Not to a great degree. And then I'm going to run this out. Something like that. Now, control, pushing that control again so I can get just the letter. I'll run these back in. I want that. I'm going to run this up against. Oops. Control Z to undo. Run that up against the H. Run that one out.
Okay, that works for me. And so the thing is, you have to do something like this to grab them all. Just in that letter. Let me we'll do it, is it? So I'm going to shift. I hope it gets the whole thing. Nine. Let's do it this way. Okay, let's do it this way. So that's the T. That should be the E. Let's go back to that one. CH, okay. Now we've got that word. Scratch that down in there. Give us a zoom out. And you could do stuff like this. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just playing. And let's do the same thing with this L. Grab that. I'm going to get a zoom in. Grab a whole bunch of them. Zoom out. And click shift. Bring that down. I'm just going to delete that. Uh, yeah, just like that. Now, what I want to do on this one is I'm going to do something like that. Because I'm going to do something, I'm going to do something with this. I don't know what yet. So, that might, that might do it. Yeah, I like that. Let's just do that. So there's the X. Uh, there's the L. Shift click the whole thing. Scoot that over. That's pretty neat. Just like that. It was, you saw how simple it was. Just, you can manipulate them. Turn them into anything that you want them to be. We're going to do a quick troubleshoot. Should begin. And then we're then I'll do a uh, quick visualize so you can see this. Yeah, not too bad. Thanks for watching.